Hiya folks, picture this, a perfectly made Taco Bell crunch wrap that cracks open to reveal spicy and sweet buffalo chicken, melted cheese and a beautiful blue cheese sauce, with a satisfying crunch in every bite. Sounds fantastic doesn't it? Well today, this video shows you how to make the perfect buffalo chicken crunch wrap. If you're craving something that's both comforting and packed full of flavour, you don't want to miss this. Before we get started, do make sure to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon so you never miss out on my delicious recipes. And while you're here, tell me in the comments what's your favourite way to enjoy buffalo chicken. I want to see your uh, ideas. Let's get cooking. We start this recipe by slow cooking some juicy chicken breasts in any chicken stock you have at hand. I like to freeze stock from roast dinners in ice cube bags, ready for when I need a quick go-to stock. Whilst the chicken is cooking, we will start preparing both our sauces for any and all ingredients. You will find these in the description below, so you can follow along as we cook. By the way, if you can think of any tweaks that you think would take this recipe to the next level, do make sure to drop them in the comments below. We start by finely chopping cloves of garlic before melting around 50 grams of butter in a pan. Once this is melted, we can add our diced garlic before gently cooking for a few minutes. After the garlic is cooked through, we will add our Frank's red hot sauce. I use a whole bottle and then I have a couple of tablespoons of honey or some light brown sugar, whatever you have really, and always, and always this one, to your own taste. Then, a little helping of salt to bring out those flavors. What is buffalo chicken without blue cheese sauce? Whilst the buffalo sauce is heating through, we can make our simple blue cheese sauce. In a blender, we will add sour cream and mayonnaise, around the ratio of two to one sour cream to mayonnaise. Pepper, Stilton cheese, I use around 150 grams, a couple of cloves of garlic, and a splash of milk to help loosen the mixture and if you wish a splash of lemon juice this is optional and ignore my blending skills because this needed quite a bit of a shake to ensure the cheese blended through and didn't just stick to the edges of the um, blender the resulting mixture we can then place in a bowl and refrigerate until needed Back to our hot sauce, we'll now add this to a blender again and blitz this through. This helps the sauce mix to stay homogenized and not separate when cooling. At this point, or maybe a few minutes later, the chicken should now be ready to shred. A fork should do the trick. If it struggles, it needs to be cooked a while longer. First up, grab your cooked shredded chicken and place it in a mixing bowl. Don't ask me why, mine just ended up being a normal dish. Shred the chicken 
and pour in that fiery and sweet and delicious buffalo sauce and give it a good mix through until every piece and piece of shredded chicken is coated in that spicy goodness. Quick question, are you a ranch or a blue cheese fan? Let me know in the comments below which one do you think will pair best with this recipe. Now, lay a large flour tortilla in the centre and a generous helping of our delicious blue cheese sauce before topping it with some of that fiery shredded buffalo chicken. Top this with some delicious tortilla chips. This is where the crunch in the crunch wrap comes from. You may wish to add some more grated cheddar if you wish, then some chopped lettuce and tomatoes. We top this with a smaller disc of a tortilla wrap. Now you can either buy smaller wraps or you can cut a, rare, uh, a larger one using a larger tortilla wrap. We can cut round that with a bowl, making it slightly smaller. And we're gonna to top this with further blue cheese. If you're a fan of extra heat, let me know. Would you throw in some jalapenos at this some point? Or maybe some chili? I'm curious to see how you'd make yours. My choice was to add a drizzle of Daddy Cool's barge and hot pepper sauce at the end. On to the fun, not so fun, depending on uh, your persuasion part. We're going to start folding the crunch wrap. Starting from the bottom, we fold the edge of the tortilla up to the centre. Continue folding around the edges, creating small pleats until your crunch wrap is sealed. For me, this is quite awkward quite crack handed but if you've got some tips or tricks for perfecting this fold please do share them in the comments i know some of you out there will probably be better at making a crunch wrap than me a lot of people then choose to heat this in a skillet or frying pan over medium heat i find a panini press does the same job and saves on flipping so what do you think so far do you add anything else to this crunch wrap any other ingredients please do let me know leave a comment below and look at that, a beautiful, crispy on the outside, spicy, cheesy on the inside, buffalo chicken crunch wrap. Perfection in every bite. If you enjoyed this recipe, please do give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and drop a comment below to let me know what other recipes you'd love to see me make. Hey, if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Click on that subscribe button and if you are on YouTube, do feel free to click on any of the videos to the right to see previous recipes. Also, do follow me on Instagram, threads, Facebook as alternative media to content and sneak peeks of upcoming recipes. All the links are in the description below and don't forget to tag me in these recipes when you try them. I can't wait to see your creations. Until next time, stay safe and keep on cooking.